I'm not talking. I'm not talking right. emotions. I'm talking law now. Listen, listen. This is very important to understand jurisdiction. One of the tricks that was done in order for the Europeans to claim jurisdiction of the Moors and Northgate that they overthrew. Northgate is another name for North America. When you hear in masonry, the Shriners, keepers of the Northgate. Northgate is a cosmological term for North America, Northwest Africa. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? They already got your birthright. The judge is a mason. Yeah, you know that. He's a mason. They already know the deal when you walk in there. What's up, brother? They already know the deal when you walk in there. Now, if you don't know logically, spiritually, you know that you have basic rights that ain't got a daggone thing to do with them. It's called birthrights. But you need to know that that's birthright. You can't, it can't be guessing. You gotta know what it is. It ain't guessing what it is. It ain't feeling what it is. It's upon a challenge you must declare what it is. Do you? Now, we're not subject to deal with regular court systems either. It, it, consular courts. You're correct. Unless, unless it's You're correct. You got I it. I mean, I studied a little bit. Yeah, yeah but now, <laughs> now, it has to do with venue, doesn't it? Well. And so, yes. Yes. Yeah, it is. Because the venue is determined by the status. Right. All of which is jurisdiction. Meaning you don't have to go in there. No. All, yes, you do. Unless you can stand. See, I understand. this is the deal. You this is very important. Stand on your square and deal with this. Unless you can stand on the square, yeah. they got jurisdiction because you are, you're an abandoned vessel. See, you can claim the right, and the right indeed does belong to you. However, if you're not flying colors, the right that you're claiming does not apply. Dred Scott case. Look, everybody talk about Dred Scott case and talk about Judge Taney being racist, right? But those who know law don't get into the emotion of, they look at the cover sheet says plaintiff in error. So if he's an Asiatic, African descent talking about freedom, what the hell he going in court talking about he Dred Scott? He's an Englishman. He just declared himself property of Europeans. Now you understand why he's delivering back to a slave master? Because a free man does not come and do business in another man's name. Because fraud has no statute of limitation. And just because the European put it on you, he put it on you, you steal your birthright. Well, if you didn't know that, ignorance of law is no excuse because it begins with you. Dang. Do you no. understand how simple that is, brother? <laughs> Do you understand how simple that is? Yeah. They have jurisdiction. Yeah, that's why, that's why, I mean, that's how they I have jurisdiction. Courses. Let's look at go. this. Jurisdiction <laughs> comes go. in into an a trinity of fact. The first issue is personum. Personum jurisdiction is the person, this being right here. Right? And then there's an understanding that there's two types of person at law. This store is a person. It has a corporate entity. Do you understand what I'm saying? That would come under, if you're not national, under the Jesuits of Rome, under Inquisition Revenue Services, which would be titled today as the Internal Revenue Services. That has nothing to do with government. It has to do with taxing people that are foreign in slavery. So that's everybody if you don't know uh, This is what is it? Look, look what you just said. And this is back to what we talked about earlier when I was talking to the other brother. At what point did we keep forgetting that these Europeans are colonists and that they're dealing with feudal law versus allodial law, which is constitutional? Why do you think they don't say republic? They keep saying democracy. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution guarantees a republican form of government for every state in this union. These politicians come up there and say democracy, which is a password, a Masonic password for feudal law, which is the opposite. Because the Republican form of government came from the Moors. And they overthrew you. Now you see why they have the National Treasury when they have what the, 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 uh, the brother, what's his name, play that movie? Michael. Uh, Nicholas Cage. Uh, and then he goes up, it goes up to, uh, goes up six and chestnut. And then he goes up to the tower and he pulls out a brick, which means masonry. Simple. Right. You got brick masonry. Yeah, brick. Yeah, masonry. Yo, hold on. Then he pulls out these shades with blue lens that flip down, right. which means illusion. Yeah, blue lens. Then they're looking through this book and looking, and then they, then the, the lady notices faded in the corner of a page. It has faded a watermark of a pyramid, the Great Seal. I mean, they're talking to you all day long. That's where they took your birthright. That's what the mummers look. 32 degrees of masonry. Oh, wow. Mummers parade. Mums the word. Come on. Oh, shit. Uh, I, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I never knew what the definition of mother. Why do you think they from, used to do it in blackface up until the good administration? The original uh, New Orleans. It's the celeb that, and that's why you got the crescent upside down. Yeah, because all they joins got. You got to understand, you're home. We're the only ones that don't know it. The whole world knows who we are. Except us. That's the great Masonic secret. Do you get? But it ain't a secret. Ain't no secrets. They're not facing, but if we don't know shit. Hold on, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. That's what I do. Oh yeah, I sit back. Let me show you something. I keep my mouth. I keep my mouth. Look, hold it in. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. You go to any civic book. You got any civic books here for children? And they're talking about the Great Seal. They'll only show this side. But you'll see right underneath that circle, it says the Great Seal, doesn't it? And under here, it says, of the United States, right? Mm -hmm. So let's deal with third grade grammar. Of is a preposition, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Only eight parts of speech. Of is a preposition, which means a substantive connector, which they just told you that these two seals are one, and they put one biggest day right in the middle, and most people don't know that the government got two seals. Now, which one is yours? See where our problem is? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> Hold on, let me show you something. And it's always right there in front of your face. Yeah, I know. Let, me, let me show you something. That's what piss you off about this. So here you go. Pyramid is one of the most important symbols in masonry. And the fast, right? The sun shines in the east. And when we give honor to all creation, we face east with a rising sun in the east gate. And that's why the judges all sit in the east gate. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Hold on, which are magistrates, which is magicians. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what it is. Hold on, now, and so even when we pray, we face east. Why? Because that is the tradition of our forefathers, because it has nothing to do with belief. It has to do with the workings of nature. Islam, I, sub, law, and master. Dude, come on, hold on. That's it, though. In a nutshell. Like, so now, the sun shines in the east and casts a shadow in the west. So therefore, there's a shadow on the pyramid in the in the west, right? But most people don't pay attention to things because it's under their nose, and the shadow continues underneath the pyramid as if it's floating on the sand. Yeah. Then there's an acacia bush growing in the east corner. Now, what's an acacia bush growing in the east corner in the sands? And how come no one notices the shadow? Because when you bring the eye, the earth. Now you see underneath here, see them 13 stars? Mm -hmm. Them 13 stars is Hex Alpha, or Megan Dayu, or what you call Star of David, Star of Daoud, which is the spiritual principle in Islam, that which is above, so shall it be below. They ain't Jewish, it's Islam. And it ain't no Jew, because they fake Jews, they claim to be Jews, but they're not Jews, we are. And it ain't no J either, it's Yahudi. Yahudi and Muslims, they're really the same culture. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anciently. And the one they call Yashir ben Yosef, which is his name, that they call Jesus during the Nicene Council of 325, when the Romans changed that up, when they altered the books, is our bloodline. We got the same blood. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so, ready to go out there and be like, yo, so let's bring, yo, uh, let's get so this right. Let's man. bring the light, because in symbolic, I can take you right to the Washington, D.C., to the Library of Congress, and I can show you that that eye is symbolic Allah. That eye is the eye of Allah, or that some would call eye of Horus, or that the secret society called the eye of Job is Allah. Hold on. Then you bring it down to earth. And that great seal, right? It becomes a seven. It's a seven seal right in your face. They play with your Right in your face is the seventh seal. He's like, man, I'm telling you, man. And they kind of hint to it in the book of Revelation in the Bible, which means to reveal. That's why they sing. You understand? And then you take that seven and you walk around the Kaaba. Look, we walk around the Kaaba seven times, and what's in that Kaaba? What is in that square? What's in the square? It's a meteorite cosmology, because we weren't always here.